Today's video is sponsored by Dashlane. In today's video, we're going to see what's inside a lava lamp and what happens if we freeze it or try and heat it up too much. We've got some lava lamps, four specifically. Not um, like a ridiculous number, just a number that would be confusing if you walked into a room and saw this many lava lamps in it. I think one lava lamp in a room is, is about as many as That's I would ever want. That's the max lava lamps per room that should be in your home. But I'm not we've sure got you know. four. Yeah, I guess we're not in a room, so yeah, this is we fine. bypass that, uh, that rule. Yeah, we're good. And uh, we want to take a look at them in ways that aren't so normal. Here's a basic idea. We've got several lava lamps and we've had several requests to test stuff out with them. People are curious what's going on inside the lava lamp and they want to see what happens if we subject them to some extremes. We're gonna try putting it on a stove and we're gonna try submerging it in liquid nitrogen to see what that does to it. Three of these are turned off. One of them has been plugged in. This has actually been plugged in for several <laughs> hours now. Yeah. But it's kind of chilly out here, Cold actually, day. and so it's taking longer to warm up. But we want to investigate what is happening inside a lava lamp, and then, because a lot of people have asked, we're going to freeze one in liquid nitrogen, and we're going to throw one on the stove because we've heard some rumors about that as well. It's rumored to be associated with a Darwin Award. We don't know if that's true or not, it's just something that we've heard. We want see what happens if it is subjected to that amount of heat for a very long time. So these are heated by a light bulb. That's the entire heat source is that's an incandescent it. light bulb. End of story. Not a very big, powerful one, but that's where it comes from. And there's a very good reason for that. This is a 25 watt light bulb held very close to the glass base, and it provides just the right amount of heat, but it has to heat up very slowly. If it heated up any faster, that would mean it was higher power, and then the total heat that was putting out would be too much and you wouldn't get the right effect. You need the lava lamp to circle and cycle and everything to really get the effect of the flowing lava. I messed it up. Wait, oh, it tilted sideways? Somebody may have accidentally shaken it. Oh no. Oh no. As far as we can tell from the small amount of research that we did online, what the liquid and the wax is inside a lava lamp is a proprietary blend that nobody's really ever been able to replicate. There have been amazing YouTubers who have made insanely cool attempts to try and make a working lava lamp out of some of their own homemade concoctions. I've never seen one actually work, unfortunately. Uh, some really, really cool attempts, some giant ones, some smaller ones, but whatever's making these guys run, don't actually know. So while we might not find out what that is today, we do just want to play with it, see what it'll do. Well, I want to see what's really inside one of these, and since we only have one of them that's warm right now, I think we should open that one up. Okay. Um, as Callie was just showing, there's just kind of a bottle cap on the top. So we're going to try and open that with a bottle opener and see if we can just pour out some of the inside contents. Let's see. Okay. That popped off pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And now we've got a pitcher. Gonna pour our mystery liquid. Wait, smell it. I have to know what it smells like. And now it's in there. That's fine. Any smell? Kind of chemically. Okay. Set this down and see if I can uh, get a little bit of the wax. Oh, it's smushy. Oh. Which I guess makes sense. It's the wax that was near the top that's been melting. That's a very thin consistency. I always would have thought it was like a solid wax. Interesting. I believe it is at first. But it gets warm and I, yeah, that's the whole thing is that this is specially formulated so that when it's cool, it falls mm -hmm. as a solid or at least slightly more solid. And when it's warm, it floats up as a liquid. All right. Now this is one thing that for a long time I didn't know about. In the base of the lava lamp, embedded in that wax puck, is a spring, a metal spring that's designed to help dissipate the heat evenly from the light bulb into the wax. Look at that. I don't want to touch it now because I don't want to have an expectation. The first one that I want to touch, I want it to be cold. I see what's happening. I have this expectation. I feel like that puck should be a hard puck, like like a candle. That's what I'm expecting is candle consistency. I think my my expectancy is going to get dashed upon the rocks and that's going to be awesome and that's what I want to have happen. Yeah, when it's inside the glass container, you can shake it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's stuck to the sides. But there's liquid slowing it down so you can't really get any sense of how durable it is. Mm -hmm. And I still don't know. Yep. Maybe this stuff changes a ton and it's actually very hard inside there. But given how soft it is now, I doubt it. That's what I want to find out. 
So Nate is currently trying to clean the wax off his hands in vain. We'll see how long it takes, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and start the next one. People were wanting to know what would happen if we freeze one of these. I'm also curious, can you freeze a lava lamp? Because whatever this liquid is, we don't know. I wanna know if it can be frozen. And uh, just putting it in the freezer, that might work, but uh, we have a much, much funner solution. So far, these buckets have been serving us pretty well. Trash can from Walmart, but a durable plastic. Our lava lamp. Also worried, the glass may just break. It's very likely. I'm gonna try and be as careful as I can, not shock it. Well, that might have been our glass breaking there. Yep, I'm seeing blue in the nitrogen now. Which means I'm gonna stop, because we're not gonna be able to pour any of this liquid nitrogen back now, because it's been contaminated. So I'll let that sit for a good amount of time. I'm gonna go grab a pair of gloves to get that out. That's broken. That is so very, very, very broken. There's a little bit of liquid here left at the top. Oh, I can feel it kind of sloshing. There's some in the middle, but not much. Oh. It, uh, it built up some pressure when you tipped it. No, no, it already built up some pressure. It squirted it's... out a little more. It's expanding in my hand. And, Let's move. And frighteningly close to my face. Sorry, mine too. We can see. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> we can, I pick it up and the bottom just comes off. Okay, well, now let's peel it out of its ice shell. Okay, so when I was saying that I could see that air bubble going around, sure enough, not frozen all the way through. Look at that. Oh, there's the wax, cool. Which I imagine right now is very is hard. exceptionally hard because we just super froze it. Pour one out for your hippie homies. Well, it turns out you can freeze the inside of the lava lamp. You know what though? Like, that's it's frozen, but like I can still just scratch pieces what? out of the clay easily or the wax easily. Like it's wow, you did. You took a chunk like, out of it. And then as it warms up even a little bit. Yeah. So I think we can definitely say that whatever this wax is, it's way softer than say a candle. The Darwin Award rumor is that in an effort to speed up the lava lamp process, someone put it on a stove, it warmed up, it got too hot and exploded with enough force that glass shards were lethally projected. And we've got some fairly thick glass in the remnants of our broken jar. So I'm gonna say it's not completely outside the realm of possibility, but we've got our little electric stove. We're gonna turn it on high with the lava lamp sitting on it. And then we're just gonna be far away with some cameras recording leave. it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be far enough and around corners enough that if it does explode, it's not gonna get to us. So I'm guessing that within 15 or 20 minutes, this will do something if it's going to do something, but we'll probably just let it run and see how long see it takes. See what happens. So while it's incredibly important for us to have safety measures in place for today's experiment, you also want to keep your digital life safe, and it is super easy to do that with Dashlane. Dashlane is a digital security suite that will help keep you safe online through password management and secure data encryption. Dashlane is available on every device, so you don't have to worry about passwords when moving from one device to another. Dashlane is especially helpful when you get a new device. If you download Dashlane first, it will essentially unlock every app and account you have on your new device. Dashlane will even search the dark web for you and will send you a security alert if your login information has been compromised. So if you'd like to continue supporting our channel as well as get some peace of mind over your online security, click the link down in the description or go to dashlane.com random to get 10% off your Dashlane subscription. By using our link, you'll also get a free 30-day trial, no payment necessary. Okay, it's been like 25, 30 minutes and so far that lava lamp is not doing anything to explode. Um, and in fact, from here I can tell that it's lava lamping fairly nicely. I can see the wax going up and down, but we kind of want it to explode. So I'm going to use this cardboard box thing as a barrier, try and get near it. I'm, I'm gonna put the leather glove on and I'm gonna check if the top has broken the seal, like the bottle cap may have released a little bit, in which case it's not going to explode. If it hasn't, then I'm just gonna tilt it and put it on its side, maybe balance it with some rocks. So it's getting a lot more heat exposed to it. And then if it has leaked, then I'll grab the other lava lamp that hasn't been opened or used at all, and I'll put that one on, on its side, see if we can get it to blow up. Yeah! Holy cow! All right, so we're actually 
filming multiple videos at once and the lava lamp was just sitting there for like an hour. We it just left like. it. Um, but we had cameras on it, uh, so we're now in different clothes because we're filming a different video. I was mid-change, guys. Like, I was in, like, in my car changing and all of a sudden we just hear this explosion. Boom. Very it was low awesome. with like, you hear glass just like cling, cling, cling. I think I saw some glass flying. It went a lot farther than I thought it was. Oh, so it was let's insane. go see the results. Oh, shoot. It bent it. Wow. It hit down so hard. The plate used to be level. It's now pressed down in. Holy cow. There's no glass anywhere. Like There's it's no too bottle. far. We don't know where the pieces went, but they're not right here. These would have been like bullets. We were over a hundred feet away with a lot of stuff in between us. That's how far away I am from the stove and our cars are there. So it made it halfway to us. Really glad we were as far away as we were, but it's pretty insane. This is the most intact piece of the bottle we found. Don't put these on the stove, guys. Without a doubt. <laughs> yeah. You should not put a lava lamp on a stove because it can blow up with Force. That was amazing. Like, I would absolutely say that could be deadly. If you were near that when it went off, that yeah. glass was flying and sharp. So, very Touched possible up. that that could kill you. Thanks again to Dashlane for sponsoring today's video. To check it out for yourself, hit the link down in the description or go to dashlane.com slash random to get 10% off your Dashlane subscription. By using our link, you'll not only support the channel, but we'll also be able to try Dashlane out for free for 30 days, no payment necessary. Glass here. Yep. Here, 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 here. <laughs> Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top to check out our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.